About six months ago, my Amazon and YouTube channel videos took off. At the same time, my video production process hit a brick wall and nearly came to a halt. I was running out of storage for my nearly half terabyte of new footage and data I was creating each week for my videos and live streams. Right when things started to look at their worst, I got a message from QNAP asking if I was interested in checking out their new TS-462 Network Attached Storage or NAS device. Not only was I interested, I had an immediate need for this to help free me from the multiple external hard drives and separate RAID solutions I was juggling all my footage in between. What's a NAS device? Well, this little box allows you to combine hard drives in a way that if one of them should fail, your data is safely kept and available on the others. You simply replace the bad hard drive with a new one and you keep on trucking. In my case, I had a custom RAID machine, a backup for that RAID, and multiple external drives because I needed three things. One, I needed to keep my data safe. Two, I needed accessing it to be very fast. And three, I needed the ability to grow and grow quickly. The QNAP TS-462 has several professional grade features like automatic fault tolerance, online data rebuilding and scaling, and audible notification of failures. Once set up, the QNAP is hands-free and just works. Great for small business environments and prosumer applications like my own. With as few as two hard drives, you get fault tolerance and data redundancy. And having four three and a half inch slots, you can easily add additional hard drives to increase your available storage. When I get my footage to edit, I'm often plugging it in via external hard drive because I need that ultra fast, low latency access so I can scrub over my footage without jerking or long load times. With the QNAP's two NVMe slots and proprietary Q-tiering automatic data movement to the lightning fast NVMe storage, my footage automatically moves from the slower disk partitions to the NVMe storage for editing without me even knowing. Combined with the native two and a half gigabits ethernet and my editing speeds appear to my Mac just to be like a local hard drive in access times, and nearly 300 megabytes per second in throughput. With my other RAID solutions, the limited bandwidth of the gigabit network connection and spinning physical disks meant I was often waiting hours just for footage to copy. I could never get the speeds to edit my footage live from my old storage device itself. With the QNAP and Q-tiering, I can even edit old footage as it'll automatically pull my projects to the faster drives for easier editing and exporting. When I do get the footage from my highest resolution camera, it's on an external SSD already. With QNAP's high-speed USB 3.2 port on the front of the unit, it means I can plug my drive in directly and copy files to the active projects folder instantly without even waiting for the network. This trick even works with SD cards via USB adapter if needed, something I think could be amazing for photographers shooting important weddings or events back to back. Just drop your SD card in and automatically back up your photos to avoid potential disaster. I've already started to need to grow my solution from the first initial test folder. I went from two internal four terabyte drives to two eight terabyte drives without a hitch or any downtime. It's as easily as swapping the drives out. Then I increased the total number of drives and RAID level. So now I have 16 terabytes of storage capacity plus an additional one terabyte of super fast NVMe cache in a RAID 1 configuration, all available via multi-gigabit link. With the ability to use the new 22 terabyte drives from Western Digital, I could store up to 88 terabytes of information on a single NAS and 66 terabytes with single drive failure redundancy. But that's not all this little powerhouse can do. The TS-462 can even accept PCI Express add-on cards so I can go to 10 gigabit ethernet in the future if I need to, or add a GPU for more video processing power. I recently discovered that I can integrate many existing cloud providers. It's currently backing up and bi-directionally syncing my OneDrive folder so I can share files with external editors and brands easily using QNAP hybrid mount. It has support for Google Drive, OneDrive, Rackspace, Backblaze, and almost 30 other providers. I haven't even covered the QNAP QTS management software, which makes managing your device, sharing files, and running add-ons like Docker containers and QNAP exclusive apps a breeze. There are even mobile apps for management, data access, and receiving alerts on the go. With QNAP My Cloud Link, I have a single URL I can enter and access my data from anywhere on the internet securely. 
This QNAP is one of the most versatile, game-changing, and critical devices to my video workflow since my first Mac. When creating my next live stream, review video, or project, I no longer have to think about how or where I'm going to store it. I can trust my QNAP NAS has me covered. This has been John the Net Guy, and now you know.